Hi, so I have a specific message. Um, I think this is just for one person. I channeled this last night in my dreams. Um, I really don't know who this is for, but I had this dream that this woman was stuck in an abusive relationship. I saw uh, an apartment complex, I believe. It, it seemed like there was like a patio on the first floor, um, like a, a um, kind of like an enclosed patio. And she was, she had she had two little black kittens in the closet and then she had another cat that was somewhere else i don't know if it was somewhere else in the house or just outside of the house um like i said this is just for one person i mean this isn't like a general energy group or anything like that this is like a specific message that's just meant for one person and i'm not sure who um sometimes my client spirit guides will come to me and and try to find people through my channel so so like i said i have no idea who this is for um but the majority of you will probably not resonate with this. But um, but anyway, so in the dream, in the dream, this woman was was in this apartment in, in this apartment, and she was wanting to leave an abusive relationship. I think that her boyfriend was, I don't know where he was, out running errands, maybe maybe not not there at the current moment. Um, she had these two little black kittens in the closet, and she was in the dream she was afraid that if she went and got them out of the closet and tried to leave that he would come through the door right as she was trying to leave so she was just kind of frozen in fear like she knew that he was gone like she i mean she knew that he was um you know like at the store or at work or wherever he might have been so she had an opportunity to run to just grab the cats and run but she was just so frozen with fear that it was almost like eight of swords energy where it's like she had a way out but she couldn't see that she had a way out because um she was just afraid that he was going to come back and that he was going to hurt her for trying to leave so um you know whoever this is for you're you know it's it seemed like a situation i mean i woke up feeling like this was someone like either on tiktok or on youtube um i also felt like there was some kind of connection to the south i don't know what it is about the south like if you should move there or if you're thinking about moving there or maybe you have like an opportunity to get away like you can escape to the south or maybe you're in the south um i'm not sure but that did come up i feel like it's kittens i mean i feel like it's cats i feel like this must be i mean i guess it could be children but i feel like i don't i think they would have shown me children in the dream i assume so i'm assuming that this is cats um but yeah basically sorry to ramble i'm just trying to remember the bits and pieces of the dream but um basically and and you know full disclaimer it's like i can't really advise on something like that because i mean i've been in abusive relationships it's been a really long time since i've been in one but i mean i understand that energy i know how terrifying it is i know how hard it is to leave especially when the person's controlling you and you know gaslighting you and you know just just trying to make sure you can't leave like I had to get a temporary restraining order when I was uh like 20 years old to get away from my boyfriend at the time so so I get it it's it's scary it's not easy but your spirit guides are basically just wanting you to know that um and listen to the full reading please because I'm gonna um but but your spirit guides are basically just wanting you to know that uh that this person is bluffing he's pretty much gaslighting you and he knows how to play on your empathy he knows how to manipulate you so he's making you think that something bad is going to happen if you leave him but it's actually not like he's making you think that he's going to like um keep your cats from you but the truth is he doesn't actually want the cats he's just trying to use them you know to manipulate you um and and for those of you that are watching just you know just to just out of curiosity if you have any resources to um like domestic violence shelters or places that might help someone like with animals because i feel like this woman is not wanting to leave because of her cats like she's um afraid of like maybe she doesn't have a place to take them or maybe he's threatening to hurt the cats or there's something with the cats i'm not sure um so like if any of you have resources that she might that this woman might be able to use like of where she could take her animals that would be safe just temporarily um while she gets back on her feet you know maybe like domestic violence shelters just whatever resources you guys might have that you can comment below would be appreciated and um like i said full disclaimer it's like i'm not 
I'm not a licensed therapist. I'm not, you know, like, like what you do is, is, um, your decision. You know what I mean? Like the mood, like the, your choices are like, I'm not responsible for any of the decisions that you do or don't make in response to these videos that I make. Um, you know, it's, it's your life. It's your choice. So, and I, I don't want to, I mean, I don't want, I, I want to try carefully cause I don't want to be like, Oh yeah, you'll be fine. Just leave. But I'm, I'm seeing like, it might be complicated and messy, but there is a way to leave. It's not saying that you should just, you know, stand up to this man and be like, oh, screw you by I'm leaving. Cause you know, he's going to beat you up. It's, it's, it's like, not like that. It's like, you have to plan this but you're not quite as like, like it's messy. It, it might take a you know, a couple weeks of planning or so, but you're not quite as trapped as you think you are is basically the message that I was getting from your spirit guides. You have a, like a mother or a grandma figure, um, some type of like, like female spirit guide that's really trying to guide you out of the situation that came through very strongly. Um, let me see what else I can pick up. Let me see what else I can channel from this. Uh, it's like you have to tread carefully because this person is obsessed with you. They will, you know, it, it's going to be messy. They might stalk you for a while, but you can get out of this. That's just the energy that I'm getting. And I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive. Just sometimes when I channel, it's like I keep it's the energy gets all jumbled and it's it's hard to sort through things sometimes so sometimes I, I repeat things and sometimes it's also just your spirit guides wanting to reiterate certain things so that they stay in, stick in your head but um but yeah it's like it's like I see like the temperance card there's like a middle ground you know what I mean it's not like not like you should just say you know screw you I'm leaving you like it you know and then risk getting, getting beaten up but it, at the same time don't feel like you're going to be stuck in this situation for years. You know, I, I channel someone who's like contemplating, um, God, I don't even know if I can say all this on YouTube, but they're contemplating, um, basically checking out and, and your spirit guides want you to know, like, don't do that. Like your life does have meaning. Your life is going to get better. It's going to be a bumpy road, but you are going to heal through this and you're actually going to help other women that are going through the same thing. Like I see you being like a motivational speaker, um, maybe like, like teaching, like I see you doing something like you're an empath. So you're going to be doing something, um, like teaching, like you're going to be, uh, like I see you at, like at colleges, like giving speeches. I'm not sure what that is. Like maybe like you're going to write like a book, just that kind of energy where it's like, you're going to as, as traumatic as this is, it's like, you're going to take this energy and you're going to use it to help others come through it. So, I mean, your life does have purpose. I know like you're, you're feeling very trapped and it's understandable. Like abusive relationships are absolutely terrifying. Like I understand it's, it's, I mean, I was in that same boat a decade ago where it's like, I did not know how to leave him. I just wanted to leave and he was home all the time. It's like, it's, it's really scary, but, um, I'm feeling just plan, just be careful, just plan behind the scenes. Um, maybe hopefully some people here will have some resources that you can maybe look into when he's not home, just, you know, make some phone calls when he's not around, um, you know, keep an eye out, um, make sure he's not mindful of, you know, not aware that you're planning on leaving. Like it has to be like, you can't tell him is basically the energy I get. You, you can't, you can't leave. You can't tell him you're going to leave because he's going to beat you up. Unfortunately, like this is going to be one of those things where you're going to have to, um, like just leave when he's like at work or something like that. Just, just get on a bus to another state kind of energy is what I'm feeling from this. Um, like just gone, you know? Um, and I mean, like I said, it will be messy for a while. It's going to be a little bit chaotic. It's, it's going to be, but your guides want you to know you will get through it. It's just, it's a dark period that you're going through, but you're going to survive this. You're going to get out of this relationship. Um, you're going to heal yourself. You're eventually going to actually attract someone much better. Um, down the road. I mean, you're going to go through a period of, uh, you know, hermit energy kind of where you're, you're having to heal, but, but you're, you're, you're going to, you're going to look back on this and it's, it's like, you're going to use, like I said, you're going to use this energy for a higher purpose, if that makes sense. Not that it's okay that you're having to go through this, but I'm just saying that you're, you're going to be okay, even though it's incredibly dark and scary right now. So your guides are just wanting you to find a balance. Like, like I said, they don't want you to be hasty and just leave like, you know, right away. Cause you're going to get, you know, you're going to get physically hurt if you do that, um, from what I'm channeling, 
but they also don't want you to feel like you're stuck in this situation because I, I get the sense that your person is gaslighting you and they're they're trying to make them seem themselves seem all big and bad, but they're really not. Like they're trying to threaten you with certain things. Like they're trying to say like, oh, you can't have your cats back if you leave or like, you know, you, you this or that. Like they're, they're just, they're trying to find any little excuse to control you and, and you have to, you have to stop giving them the power. Like you have to kind of um, just survive and take your power back from them, but not let them know that you're taking your power back because if they see a difference in your energy, like if they notice that you're kind of acting suspicious or you're on the phone a lot or, you know what I mean? Like anything of that nature, they're going to snap because part of them knows that you want to leave. So you have to really make sure that they don't see any sign that you're thinking about leaving um, just to protect yourself physically. Like this is going to be something that you're going to have to plan and you're going to have to be mindful of your energy so that they have no idea that something's up, that you're actually trying to leave. Um, and then it's like, when you have the chance, you just go, like, just leave your stuff. Just, you know, just, just leave your stuff. Seriously. Like, just, just go like, like, don't hesitate. Don't, you know what I mean? Like, it's just stuff. I, I, it sucks, but it's like, it's replaceable. You're not replaceable though. Um, so it's like, stop. Just stop giving this person your power. Just take your power. I know it's hard. I know it, it's ter it, you got you have to be in a terrifying situation. I'm sure. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, and if if there's something I can do to help, you know, just send me an email. Um, you know, like I said, hopefully someone on here has some resources because I'm just I'm not sure what to do about the cats. Um, I don't. I don't know if you have a friend or someone that you can just take them to, like, just get on a bus. Like, I feel like if you're not mobile, it's like you still have options. Like, you can maybe call, like, I mean, there's got to be something out there for that. You know what I mean? Like, there's got to be some kind of way to get the cats somewhere safe, like a sanctuary or someplace that would, like, help you out. Like, I'm sure there's something out there. You know what I mean? It's like, don't just don't let this person use your cats to manipulate you any longer. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be best for, for you and for your little fur babies. If you're all out of that situation, you know what I mean? Cause they can feel that stress and that anxiety and that fear from you too. And from this, the situation, like your fur babies want more for you. They want you to be happy. They want you to be safe, you know? So it's like, you're staying to try to protect them, but it's almost like making it worse for them. Like it's cause it's like, traumatic like they you know cats are very intuitive like they know something's up you know what I mean like they they can sense like they're extremely intuitive like they know if someone's energy is off so um so yeah I mean you're gonna you you, you just look around there's something for you there's a way to do this I just I don't know what it, I don't know if it's staying with a friend I don't know if it's a shelter like an animal shelter maybe like just temporarily for them like maybe you can tell them the situation um, but, but basically, basically he's gaslighting you and it's like, you need to be a few steps ahead of him. But like I said, don't let him know you're a few steps ahead of him. Just continue the same energy as normal so that he doesn't sense that you're about to leave. And then you have to just, like I said, you can't tell him you have to just leave when he's gone, when you know, for sure he's gone. He might try to hang around the parking lot to see, like if he, if he does get to a point where he's on to you, he might try to hang around the park parking lot and like, see if you're going to, what you're going to do. Um, but like, do it like a time when you know, he's gone. Like you, like, like, you know, he's at work. Like, you know, if someone calls in and he answers, you know, if he works at like a pizza place or something, like someone calls in and like, he answers the phone, like, you know, he's gone, you know? And then you just, like I said, you leave your stuff behind. Like, I know it sucks, but just, just leave. Like, just, I mean, get like a backpack, you know, for sure. Like get like some clothes and stuff, but like, don't don't sort through things. Don't stay there and like, try to, you know, like, do I want to take this, these books or this? No, like just, just clothes that you need and just go. And like I said, it's, it's a rough road ahead. Like as you heal from this, but it's gonna, you're going to be happy in the long run. You're, you're going to be okay. You're going to, you're going to survive this. So, um, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to put that message out there for whoever that's for. And like I said, if there's anything I can do to help, like if, if there's any, um, if you want to send me an email, if you don't want to talk about this, um, also be very, very careful about, um, like I said, just be really careful about him, you know, 
Because I feel like he's already watching you. Like, he already has some sense that you want to leave. So you have to really... Um, be a better actor, I guess. I, I don't know if that's the right term. Like, you have to really be... Um, you just have to be cautious. You have to be... You have to not let him know anything's up. I just... I can't... I, I know I'm reiterating that a lot. But it's just like your spirit guides want that to stick to your head. Stick in your head. Because they don't want you getting hurt again. Um... Please understand too, like if a man hits a woman, that's that's it. You know what I mean? Like there's there's certain men that just don't hit women. Like it's just not in their character. Like they would just never imagine to do that. Like it just would not occur to them to do that. You know what I mean? Like you know, you can you can have that kind of man, but you have to you have to get out of this situation. You have to heal. Um so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on YouTube. <laughs> 